This piece is called elbow grease for obvious reasons. All of the, uh, the mosaics, all of this is eggshell that the apprentices I have usually would take five or six apprentices from the United States to France every year and they would work with me and on different techniques. I would teach them techniques in drawing. The beginning of this piece was all the, the Christmases and New Year's I would spent at the chateau of the Count and Countess Pilewil near Compiègne, France. And uh, so that gave the composition. It was a photograph of, there was a postcard in all the bedrooms that people could send to their friends. And this photograph is the actual chateau, the Offemont, Offemont Chateau. And, and in it, they have this wonderful ruin, like we might have a bird bath in the corner of the backyard. They had on their 2,000 hectare walled estate uh, a monastery ruins with the catacombs going from the, the monastery to the chateau. And you'd go, we could walk into those. And we would always have picnics out by the uh, the chateau, I mean by the, the ruins, with looking at all the wine bottles. And of course, there were bones in the catacombs as well. And again, you've got the Freemason symbol here of the eye. And uh, these were bits and pieces of religious, from religious objects, Christian, Catholic, objects in churches, you have the, the sun and the moon and the ivy and just different symbols. I think you've got pomegranate seeds and different kind of things in here. These objects that you see here that look like chess men, I had a whole bunch of kids uh, make these little clay figures and there's a place in the south of France, on the, on the, over the mountains of Vence, called the Village Negre. And it's where all of the, the spiritual people congregate to do their full moon prayers. And um, I went out there once and I told the kids, I said, why don't you climb up on this, this place, it's all these many rocks, and place your figurines. And uh, they did. And the teacher of the children, who was a school teacher as well, he said, well, this is great because they, they can pray. They can put these little figures in this holy spot that uh, is known to all the people in the south of France as this is where the spiritualists congregated to do their worships and things like that and to make special prayers. And uh, so we went back. I went back about two weeks later, three weeks later, and some of them were gone. And I took Francis Rollet, he was the teacher, and I said, Francis, what did you pray for? And he said, well, I prayed that I would stop drinking and that I would start working again, and that my wife and I, who were fighting each other, could find a solution. And I said, so? He said, well, I've stopped drinking, and uh, I'm working every day, and I'm divorced. I said, well, good. I'm glad that the, the magic worked. <laughs>